One of the things that uh, people find rather curious is the whole business of the Egyptian fractions. And we know these fractions are so-called unit fractions. So your, a unit fraction is something like a, a half, one quarter, one fifth, one sixth, one seventh and so on. Now, many people have said that this was, not, uh, this was part of the, of the immature number system of the Egyptians. But I don't think this is, this is correct. They knew what they were doing and uh, they knew how to handle them. And there's some very, very sophisticated mathematics which concerns itself with looking at the Egyptian fractions. But I want to tell a story which is more to do with a classroom experiment. Because if you think about what might have happened, how did people actually begin to write fractions like this? What was the motivation? Where did it come from? And I've got a little story now, which is my own procure, I mean, speculation. Imagine a man in the market who's selling bread, okay? And he's had quite a good day, but he's got two loaves left. And then suddenly, right at the end of the day, five people turn up and they want some bread. Now, what can he do? Well, one way is to cut up the loaves, of course. I mean, you can give two, the loaf of bread to two people and send three of them away. But they're all standing around there saying, no, come on, chop them up and we'll all have a bit. So, he cuts the two loaves into half. But this is only four pieces. So, he then has to cut them again into half. And this time, you get eight pieces. So, we can take five of those pieces and give them to one person. So each person gets a quarter of a loaf. So that's one over four, right? And then what's happened? Well, we've got three quarters left. And what do we do? We continue cutting. And we cut the quarters into halves. So this time you've got an eighth. And so you can give them a quarter and an eighth, right? And there's one eighth left over, which the man takes home for himself. Now, we can explore this sort of situation because imagine that you, I mean, you, you know, you can cut a half quite easily. Uh, you don't have to bother too much about measuring it. You can do it by eye. And without too much difficulty and a little bit of practice, you can cut into thirds as well. So why not try a combination of halves and thirds and see whether you can get any better to give people more bread each time? 